Shalom, everyone. I'm going to jump right into it. I will be talking about a um, product review that I received in the mail. And if y'all are interested, I do have a referral code that you can go to the description box below this video. And it's called uh, Social Nature. And um, they basically um, do natural um, uh, products for you to sample. It's basically um, natural food products that's made out of um, uh, dairy-free and um, plant-based um, ingredients. Um, however, um, that's what they say, but they have animal product in there and I'm, I'm more of a neutrarian. So I, um, didn't really like this and this is pretty much what they gave me. It's called collagen and, um, it doesn't have a flavor in it. And, um, I did the review already. Um, I told them that I didn't um, like it because I was under the impression that it was totally plant-based. However, as I did further research, I found out that um, it has beef and like uh, egg shells and egg in it. And um, I don't really, I'm getting away from consuming things that have that type of um, ingredients in it. And therefore, I cannot consume something like this. But if you are interested in trying out their natural uh, uh, food products, you can go to the description box below this video or you can scan the QR code in this video. Um, and once again, it's called collagen and it's unflavored and you can put it inside of your coffee, your tea, your oatmeal or any other um, meal that you just pretty much are getting ready to eat. You just sprinkle this in there and they said it's brown. It comes out brown and um, you just basically like sprinkle it on your food and it's supposed to help with like um, your hair, skin and nails and joints. Um, like your muscles and it's results in as little as one day. So I guess that's why they only give you one pack. That's another thing that I was against. I feel like with a product like this, I need to at least um, test it out for a week or two to really see if it's really beneficial. But um, I guess um, now reading the, uh, the, the information here, it says clinically studied in, uh, ingredients for results in as, in, in as little as one day. So, that's probably why they only gave you one packet. Um, but I never tried it because I already gave them my review and told them that it goes against my dietary um, uh, consumptions. And so, therefore, I'm not um, going to take it. But um, if you're interested, you can purchase this type of um, product from Walmart. They have it in like their supplement area um, by the pharmacy. And um, it's called collagen. And it's very popular. It's an ancient nutrition but I just didn't like the fact that they had... Now, I probably couldn't have dealt with the eggshells. Um, but when I found out it had beef broth in it, I'm just like, nah. And then I really don't want um, eggshells in my stuff either. So, um, they gave me um, this. This is my first sample. They also... And I'm going to put it um, as I edit this video. They also gave me a chance to get a six, uh, a six um, can uh, pack of um, sparkling water. But the only thing I don't like about some of their products, it has to be the coupon has to be mailed to you or you have to pick the coupon up in order to get it. They don't just ship it to you. And I, I prefer that they just ship me the product. I don't want to have to uh, go there to pick up the product. And then they had another. Um, So I had two offers, um, the six pack sparkling water that I'll show you. And then they also gave me a chance to get um some plant based um crackers. But you would have to go to the store that they um, are third party with and who they're doing the sample with. And you have to go to that particular grocery store to pick up the coupon. So if y'all are interested in free products like this, go to the description box below this video or scan the QR code. So that's it on this um, review. And I'm not really going to talk about it, but I do want to also add in that it does deal with your gut. So it deals with your hair, skin, nails, and joints and gut. Um, but if they can come up with an all plant-based, um, no animal included, this would be a good product. Um, and this is how it looked if you got it from the store. It would have been nice if they gave a coupon, but that's how it looks if you get it from the store. It's like a jar, like a plastic um, jar or whatever. And um, it just, I think you can 
only get but so many uses out of it and you take it two days um a day you take it two times a day all right guys um i'm about to jump into um to different apps that um can help you um with your credit score and help you keep up with your credit score and all of these apps are free and they all can be found on my referral business page i mean my referral business um website that you can scan the qr code to my re reference my referral business website you can scan the qr code in this video or go to the description box below this video before i get into the different um passive um uh, I think I'm going to be, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to be talking about, but I'll come back with that next clip after some quick announcements, but I will be talking about way, um, free ways to um, uh, increase your credit score and free ways to track your credit score. But I also will be talking about other um, things too um, with that, but I'm not sure yet. Now, before I go into these quick announcements, please do not skip this video. I understand that this video is a lengthy but please do not skip this video. Please listen to my important announcements and I will be brief and I will get to the announcements in now. I'll be back. Ways to donate. Cash app, PayPal, scan, pause and scan. Ways to donate also found in the description box below this video. I really need Amazon products. So please help me guys do going through my Amazon wish list. And then I have referral links. Um, you can scan that. And then I have um, my merch shop and you can purchase something from there. I also need donations with my offer up in my eBay store found in the description box below this video and my fundraiser. Esperon. So guys, I'll be talking about Esperon. And this is a free um, way to um, get your credit score and to keep up with your credit score. I have them and I've been having them for quite some time. So I'll put them in the description box below this video and I find them to be very helpful. They'll give you updates and notifications when something is changed in your um, credit score. So um, they have an app and I love it and um, it keeps up with my credit score for free. So um, look in the description box below this video to sign up with Esperon. And then um, I also will be talking about Credit Karma, and I will do that in the next clip. Shalom and greetings to everyone. Welcome to Victoria's Collection YouTube channel. And I will be putting these um, in order. So you're probably not going to see this um, until I get done with my other topics. But um, in this um video i'll be talking about beauty natural beauty tips and how to enhance your natural beauty it's a lot of before i get into it because i'm gonna try to be brief as i can but um it's a lot of um content um creators and influencers out there in the um, social media platforms that really don't agree with um enhancing your natural beauty or they don't agree um that you should not um put makeup on but they are promoting that you put on um, makeup now i'm not against people that put makeup on but um i choose to not wear makeup and for those that don't feel that um that you can enhance your beauty without makeup um to each your own and that's your prerogative but i'm speaking to the women that want to enhance their beauty and want to um go out in their all naturalness is nothing wrong with that. I also don't believe in wearing, um, I call them, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to say that word, but eyelashes. I'm not, um, I don't do eyelashes. If I don't do makeup, I definitely don't do the eyelashes. So <clears throat> putting that stuff on, on your face, um, to me is, it's not my style. Um, like I said, if you wear makeup, that's your business. Now, um, what the, the thing about um being all natural is if if you look at me right now like everybody's not going to get the same results but when you wear your natural beauty and wear it with um confidence it's healthier for you and you don't have to worry about your skin breaking out when you're not putting constantly putting things on it and if you look at me i look very youthful and i'm getting up in age and i look better than half of these um younger um women or older women that's older than me so when you wear your natural beauty and you enhance it the more um you will be more healthier and your skin will glow so 
the thing that I do to keep my skin looking like this and how I can just walk out naturally and most people don't agree with it. They feel like you need to enhance your beauty and en enhance your eyebrows, your whole face with makeup. You don't have to do all of that um, to look good. You can just naturally be yourself, but it's, it's things that you have to do to make it look, look good. And what you want to do is have a good skin regimen, a good skin routine. And it's also your diet. It's all about your diet. That's the foundation. And get you a good herbalist if you're not um, uh, educated on eating healthy and what to do to get your skin where it needs to be. You need to get with an herbalist. I um, I uh, recommend um, Minister of Wellness, um, Nathaniel Jordan and Felicia Jordan, which is his wife. Um, and I also recommend Yaki Awakening. I like, I like them too. I just like them. I feel like they're good herbalists to start off with. And get your herbs and get your questions answered. Now, if um, you want to just be basic um, or whatever, you can start off pretty much like I did. You can pretty much start off by um, by having your uh, your routine regimen um, with all natural products, plant based products, and you can use um, tea tree oil, coconut oil, African shea butter. It depends on if you have oily or dry skin. And basically, you want to use witch hazel. You can use the, use the eucalyptus witch hazel um, by Dr. Tills. And I'll try to put all of these things up. Or the stuff I use, I also use baking soda, apple cider vinegar, and um, some other products. But I'll put them up um, as I edit this video. And depending on the season and how it changed, that, that depends on what my skin would need. And eating right, intermittent fasting, exercising, uh, juicing, juice fasting, drinking lots of water, eating a high, um, high amounts of leafy vegetables, which is fruit uh, of your leafy vegetables of your different types of vegetables. Uh, sometimes steamed, lesser steamed or cooked, more raw, and also a lot of fruits. If you do those two things and exercise, do do full stretches. And then uh, exercise, get your heart rate pumping and get your uh, circulation going. Get real sweaty and get your heart rate pumping. And when you get sweaty in your face and in your body, you're um, you're releasing tox toxics. You know, you're releasing things. So when you do, when you implement all of this and then you pray, um, do your morning, um, morning, noon and night prayer. Always um, stay in tune with the creator, the most high Yahuwah. Stay in tune with him, uh, meditate on his word, listen to nature sounds as you're meditating on a scripture and as you have in quiet time, when you implement all of these things in your full body stretches after you have got your uh, heart rate pumping and your um, exercise, then you will feel um, you will feel better, you will look better, you'll look youthful along with your morning and night um, skincare uh, routine of the different products that I'll have up in here that I use. Now, once you do that, your skin will um, look youthful. You won't need no foundation on your face. And when you put that makeup on your face, it's just clogging up your pores. When you wear your face bare, you allow your um, your skin to breathe. Naturalness is always the best way. If a man see you, they, they see your natural beauty. They ain't got to worry about you undoing the lashes, undoing all the makeup. And then they're like, "You, who are you? Like, they don't even know who you are. But when you... Like example of how I am now, what you see is what you get. So also, if you look at my nails, I, I do natural, I do natural, everything completely natural. Now I'm not saying I don't put on lip balm that might have a little um lip. Uh, now I'm going to put a video up where you can see this and I do have this for sale. It's a lip balm and it's aloe vera. And it's a color changing lip balm. So when it's it's a watermelon flavor, and when you put it on your lips, it turns like a a real uh a rich pink. So it almost looks like red is on your lips, but it's not deep red like lipstick. So if you're gonna wear um anything on your lips, let it be um lip balm and let it be like a pink or like a um or red color. And let it be lip balm or lip gloss or medicated lip um, balm. And your medicated lip balm, I just stick with the um, good old Carmac. Carmax. 
And I love the medicated classic lip balm. It's good. I have it on my lips now. And that's what I do. So the, this I have for sale on my eBay. So you can go on my eBay for this and purchase this. And you can also look at my video where I review it and I put it on my lips so you can see what it looked like because I'm not doing that in this video. But if you, when you're natural like me, you want to stick with your, your lip balms, your, um, uh, I'm sorry guys, your lip balm and your, uh, your lip gloss and your medicated, um, lip balm. So it just depends on but you want to stick with lip glosses and lip balms. And you can use the one like this one. It turns up on your lip um, like a, a, a pink or a dark red. So that's okay when you have a little color on your lip. But you want to be, you want to have those neutral, um, uh, natural tones and a nice gloss to the lip. The lipstick is, it goes along with the makeup. I don't like the lipstick. The lipstick is on your lips and it's just, I don't like the look of it. It's very um, dull. Even when people wear lipstick, they always put like a gloss to gloss it up. Now, I'm not going against no one that use makeup to enhance their beauty. I'm not going against nobody like this. So this video is not for you if you're not um, an advocate for naturalness. This is for people that like to enhance their natural beauty or want to learn tips in how to en enhance their natural beauty. Or they never... Um, wore a bare face a day in their life and they want to learn how to um embrace their natural beauty um you can look at me i'm not a person that um speaks to people and that and, and not on um, practicing what i preach so um i can speak because i look good and you can see the youthfulness of my face and i don't even look my age um now on to like uh when you're wearing your face natural and bare um, you can throw some earrings. You don't want them to look ratchet or ghetto. You want them to look elegant, classy, and um, yeah, elegant and classy and modest. So I have these earrings for sale um, on my offer up or either eBay, but I think mainly on um, my offer up. And I designed these myself. So um, I don't really care for hoops. Now I'm not talking. Now all this information that I'm giving you is tips and recommendations. This is something that I do. I'm not telling you you have to do this or this and that. This is just my opinion and how I want to do it. So on to what I'm saying. So when you do your, so I already told you how to get your face um to be like this. Once you, once you're going out or whatever you want to wear, you a nice pair of earrings that's elegant and classy and modest, meaning that they don't look hood or ghetto or ratchet. And like I said, I have, um, I design jewelry so you can find all my jewelry pieces on my eBay channel. So if you're interested in, um, costume jewelry or jewelry, you can do that. Now your eyebrows, I wear my eyebrows in a natural way. I don't do anything to them back then I did, and I might do them again in the future, but right now I'm okay. But you want to um, arch them yourself if you know how to arch them. If you don't, you want to get them uh, naturally threaded and you want to tell them, I know the Indians, um, not Native Americans, but Indians, I used to go to the mall and get them threaded. And it's just a natural um, technique that they do to um, arch your eyebrows. I've, I've never been big on like the the Chinese way of how they do it. They they do like um, what you call it, like wax and rip off like um, the wax. And they take it off like that. I don't like it like that. You can also use tweezers and you just basically want to clean them up called clean up clean it up and make it look natural if you go to a professional that does this you want to get the the threading method and tell them that you want um your eyebrows to look natural and you just want it to be cleaned up if you don't they'll do these dramatic ghetto arches where they're dramatic and ghetto and ratchet you want to look classy modest and elegant so when you arch your on um, when you arch your eyebrows you don't want a dramatic arch and that's why i'm not a big I'm not a big promoter of, of makeup. They have all of this dramatic, um, like eyebrows and all of this. It is it, not for me. Um, and just because most people uh, disagree with me that wear makeup, they'll say, Oh, she just a plain Jane. She's boring. She doesn't have nothing going. Ain't nobody um, checking for her. Um, that I disagree when you enhance your natural beauty, um, men see that and they appreciate that. I don't care what nobody say. And when you uh, be all natural, you get the benefits of what you see here. <laughs> I don't have to have on makeup to look good. 
So um, now that I got that out the way with the eyebrows, like I said, if you want to arch them yourself, you want to uh, try to do natural as possible by using um, like a brush to brush them is after you use the tweezers to get the hair in between your eyebrows and then cleaning them up with the tweezers. So I would just stick with the tweezers. Now you can, I do have an eyebrow archer. I do have that too, where you can use um, your eyebrow archer. So you can do that too, along with your tweezers. But like I said, if you do it professionally, you want to do the um, threaded method. Now I'm trying to also remember other things. Now I want to go on to the nails. Now for the nails, I'm not big on like nail polish, but I do um, promote this company that um, gave me free products and I will put them up. And they're plant-based and vegan um, natural. And I do use them. And uh, every now and then, I used to use them. I no longer like to use it on my nails. I noticed that when I let my nails be natural, they are looking very good. And they are stronger. They, they are healthier. And they look better. But it seemed like when I put nail polish on, it, uh, it weakens them. They don't look strong. They don't have good white tips on them. If you look at them, they look very healthy. And how you get this... Um, you can um, use this tip where you put baking soda, Arm & Hammer baking soda up under your nails and push it all in and walk around with it in your hands or dip it in warm, hot water or water to stand and let it sit with the, um, with the baking soda inside of the nail and let it sit. And you do it occasionally and then you'll get white tips, nat natural white tips. And then you want to use like, um, and I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little thing. You want to use like a little manicure um, set that you can get from the Dollar Tree and clean up your nails. And you can look at my older playlists or my older videos where I did like um, a lot of videos of nail, um, vegan plant-based nail polish. And I'll try to put them up in this video as I um, do this um, editing. But once you clean up your nails with your um, manicure um, set, then you want to, if and this is speaking from a natural standpoint, after you get done cleaning them up, then you want to take you some olive oil and rub it in. Rub it in and then there you go. That's it. And for your nail on um, for your toes, I um use um, what I'll show you above what I use and they're natural colors. And it's a three set of three step process. It's like a, a, a pink natural, like a natural pink. And then you have like your um, platinum gloss and then your last third one. I'll put it in order as I edit this video. And that's what I put on my feet. So I'd like to do neutral tones like pearl, uh, like a pearl color or like a pink pearl color where it's light and it's natural to the feet. That's the only thing that I put on, um, on my feet as far as nail polish. I don't get into the nail polish. But if you are interested in nail polish, I do have two nail um, vegan nail polishes for sale um, on my eBay if you're interested. And if you're interested in um, like uh, nail polish, you can um, get this product that I'm promoting. You can go to their, um, go to Walmart or Target and um, they, they do sell it. I know Target sell it. I mean, uh, Walmart, it, they sell it. They sell it. But that's what I do for my natural, um, uh, my feet. I don't put, uh, like bright colors on my feet or whatever. And if I do use nail polish, that's what I use. This video is a bit, um, lifty, but, um, I'm just showing you what I do. Now in the next clip, I'm going to talk about, um, how I, um, dress, um, to stay modest. So I'll be back. So guys, um, like for, um, modest apparel, you want to wear, um, like dresses and skirts and you want to wear like, um, your tights. You have three different types. You got pantyhose where it's see-through. They're more thinner and you can see the difference. Like this is more thinner. And then you have the, the tights. You want to wear these up under your, um, your, your shorter dresses that's up above your knee. That's not past your knee. So you always want to kind of wear um like uh like uh stockings. Oh, I'm sorry guys, this is not showing good at all. Yeah, excuse that because they're a little old. I've been wearing them, but you have your tights and then you have your stockings. Then you have your undergarments, your little undergarments, and you can get all of this from the Goodwill or thrift store. And then you have like your um, what you call it? You have your other little garment. Where it's made out of like lace and it fits to the body. And then you have what is called wife beaters. 
And um, let me see if I can find that. Sorry, guys, I didn't plan this video. But you have like your little wife beaters as well. And I'm going to try to do a better video because I didn't plan this video. So basically, um, you want to wear um, like how I got this up under here, like a cameo. You never want to um, show your cleavage. So you want to um, do the little bend over test where you bend over. And if you lean over and if you can see your breast um, when you lean over, that means you need to tighten up on your cameos. And um, make sure that your cameos are fitted to your um, cleavage area so it's not showing your cleavage. You never, if you want to dress modest, you never want to um, reveal your cleavage, not even a little bit. So you always want to do the lean over test and see when you lean over, if you can see it, that means you need to. Um, so you have different ways to um, to cover up. And I'll put those um, in the video because what I just did didn't work. So I'm going to, um, yeah, let me turn this uh, camera around. So, yeah, basically, when you want when you wearing dresses like this, where it stops at the knee, you like I said, you want to wear like your stockings or your tights or your leggings. And like right here, you have like your little leggings that you could put up under there or you can wear a solid neutral colors or black colors. So. Um, now I'm about to come back with another video and I'm going to try to, um, edit this video. So it kind of gives you an understanding, but, um, when you wearing, um, dresses and skirts, you want them to always look modest. So you want them to be, um, at your ankles. If they're not at your ankles, they need to be past your, uh, past your knee. If they're above your knee, you need to, um, like this dress. I have a lot of dresses and skirts that's above my knee. And when you're in a situation like that, you always want to use stockings or tights and you always want to wear a slip under your um, dresses. And I thought I had my slip, so I'm going to have to come back. But um, I thought I had my slip in here, but I have to come back and show y'all the slip. But you always want to wear a slip up under your um, skirts and your dresses. And I'll be back with the next video. Okay, guys, so... This right here is the cameos, the example of cameos, and you can get them from the thrift store. You always want to use these little tight fitted cameos. And then you have another cameo that you can use. I have so many. I have them in different colors, but the um, I always recommend that you use basic black and neutral colors. So, yeah. Um, and then I have the different tights um that you can use um up under your um skirts and your dresses and when you wearing tights you only want to wear um tights um during like colder seasons so um these are like the examples of the different tights that that I use up under my um skirts and dresses and this is normally during the um cold seasons then when I want to dress modest when I'm exercising I wear these um exercise leggings um up under this skirt and it's a very um it's a workout skirt and it's um very modest it keeps me modest and then I wear these leggings up under it and um is you always want to get a flowing movable um skirt like what you see here and I got it from the Goodwill it, it was very nice and in good shape you want to get that um polyester like like a uh, movable material that's real silky and movable so that way when you're exercising is moving to the body. So I always wear two different workout skirts and then I put my workout leggings up under there. Then I have my slip, my little slip or whatever. Focus. I use my slip that I put um under my skirts and my dresses. Okay, guys, I'll be back with the next video. So like for my swimwear, I might put this over my swimsuit and I normally wear a two piece where it's a top and a skirt. And for the cleavage, I always wear those high um, waterproof like tops that's made for swimming. But I ended up buying my stuff separate and customizing it and making it on my sewing machine just to stay modest when I'm at the beach and when I'm swimming. And I'm not able to show it because it's um, not in my house or whatever I have it somewhere else but I normally put this over my swimsuit sometimes and when um when it's like a little breezy on the beach and as you can see it's real modest it's see-through and I just wear it over my swimwear 
And what I did for my swimwear that I can't show you right now, basically I brought like a lime green, um, like waterproof, like exercise top that's made for swimming and exercising. And I got it from Kohl's and it goes like a um, turtleneck, like a sleeveless turtleneck, but it doesn't go up on your neck. It's a round neck, but it goes real high. It goes all the way up to the, like the, the neck bone of your uh, bone, like up, up way above your chest. I don't know how to explain it, but that's the way it's designed and it fits real fitted to the body or whatever. And then I have like a skirt that I got from Goodwill and it's blue and I have leggings that are blue and they go like halfway. Those leggings, they kind of like Capri like leggings where they kind of halfway go up your um, leg. I have those and it has like a breathable side with like a mesh on the side and they're navy blue and then it complements the lime green top so that's what i use when i go swimming just to stay modest so just different examples to stay modest and like i said before i wear tights during the winter time um and i also wear leggings um for winter time and when i'm wearing dresses or skirts that goes above my knee that's above my knee, like where I sit down, where it's kind of coming up almost to my thigh. I always wear, um, depending on if it's a skirt or a dress, I wear leggings. And if it's a skirt or a dress that's short, I wear tights or either stockings. Now, I always recommend you wear stockings or tights, depending on how hot it is or, or during the season. So for tights for the winter and leggings for the winter. And leggings for summer or winter, if you're wearing a short dress that's above the knee. So it depends on the length of the dress or the skirt, depending on if you are need to wear your tights, leggings, or stockings. And so again, that's pretty much what I have. And I try to stick with um, black colors or neutral colors that's the color of your skin. I'll be back with the next video. So now guys, I'm going to talk about the hair. So for the hair, um, you want to be all natural with your hair. You um, And I'm talking about um, people of my own race um, when it comes down to certain things. So like you always want to wear your hair um, natural. Um, I'm not telling you what to do, but um, this is part of the natural um, tips. You always want to wear your hair natural. You don't want to use protective styles. If you use protective styles, it needs to be your natural hair, not added on weaves or wigs or braids. You can uh, twist and braid your own natural hair, but it needs to be your natural hair at all times. So whatever you want to do with it, it needs to be your natural hair that you're doing it with. No weaves, no wigs, no Brazilian hair, none of that crap. It needs to be natural coming from the scalp from the, that you were born with. And... Basically, you want to keep your hair healthy by do, uh, exercising, eating right, and all the other things that you do to keep healthy. And then you want to have a good hair routine where you're um, doing your deep conditioners with your apple cider vinegar, your oils, and um, your African shea butter. And you want to keep your hair moisturized. You want to keep it trimmed at the ends, keeping it nice and healthy and thick. Um, you can do your two strand twist, um, in, in a twist out, um, two strand twist where, when you want to do your pr protective styles. And, um, I often use head wraps, different colors. I normally, you'll see me in the videos where I always do black. That's just my favorite color. That's not to say that I don't have other colors, but, um, I do have like pink and other colors. The only color that I want to, um, add on is gold. That's something that I do want to add on. So you have all of these different um, head wrap and colors that you can use for modesty, and that's up to you. Um, but if you're not wearing head wraps, you can wear your hair natural in a nice, elegant, classy way, which is like a nice twist out that's real pretty and, and you know, big and full, like a nice um, twist out look. Or you can twist it halfway like how you see here, twist it halfway and then have the rest of it out. You just want to em embrace your natural beauty, but make it look elegant and classy. Um, so uh, I went over um, the nails, the feet. And when you're doing um, like you soaking your feet um, when you're doing your manicure or your pedicure, 
I mean, your pedicure, you want to use natural different herbs. And I did a video on that already. You have to go back and look at my um, videos because a lot of this stuff, I already did a video in detail. So you want to use natural herbs in a basin for to put your any kind of plastic little tub or Tupperware and put your feet in there with herbs where it be hyssop. Uh, lavender, uh, just dry, loose um, herbs that you just pour in there or your um, Epsom salt. You can do pink Himalayan Epsom salt. They come in different um, uh, vari uh, varieties of scents and um, textures and stuff like that. Now, um, I think I talked about like um, all those basics and... Um, as I think about it, because there's so many natural um, things that you can do, but you always want to dress modest and you always want to cover yourself just because you look natural and don't put on makeup and you don't show no um, body parts. That doesn't make you boring or like you don't stand out from other women or you got to compete with other women. When you enhance and, and rest in your natural beauty and you dress modest and respect yourself, trust me, you're going to um get your due flowers. Uh, men and, and society is going to appreciate it. I get compliments all the time. Trust me. Dressing modest like the most high um, want his daughters of Zion and his women to dress his um children his daughters to dress trust me you're gonna always get it right when you do it the most high yah's way so i i am a limited living testimony um of living right and dressing right um and it does work um once again you just want to dress modest now if i come up with anything else i'll put it in the video so, so another um natural tip. Now I'm gonna get a little more personal. The personal hygiene of the women. So, um, you can do, and I already did this video too. You can do steaming um the yoni, or the chocha, or the vagina. I call it. Those are the three things that I call it. Um, so you can steam your yoni by, uh, like I said uh before in a previous video that I did about this it's um you have to look it up it's called Japanese foot bath I talk about it in there that's what it's titled so if you want to get more details so it's called steaming the yoni which is aka the vagina steaming the vagina with herbs and people that's familiar with that know what I'm talking about so you can do that um you could also use tea tree oil rub it on your um your yoni pubic hairs um or chocha or vagina whatever you want to call it and that can keep down the odor from sweating and stuff from everyday sweating and your feminine um eve wipes non-fragrance no fragrance the non-fragrance fragrance free feminine wipes and you can use that every time bathroom uses you can also um put the tea tree oil rub it in your hand a dime size in your hand and rub it in your hand and put it in between your crotch area the inside of your thighs that sits in in between your um yoni or your chocha or vagina area and you can rub that and that can keep um like the uh odor down from sweating in between your um your thighs in between your legs where your private areas are and then you can also use what is called um my mind went blank I knew that was going to happen, but you can use, um, like I said, the tea tree oil and, um, the feminine wipes in the, um, honey pot. It's a, um, black owned business called honey pot. I never used her products before, but, um, shout out to Tabitha Brown. She did like a little review on like, um, some of her products and her wipes are real good, but they're strong. Like, so tea tree oil is similar to what her uh, products are like. And if anybody put tea tree oil on before, it gives you this real cooling sensation. So it's good for yeast infections as well, as long as, uh, as well as baking soda and apple cider vinegar that you can also do cyst baths with. So when you're doing um, steam, vagina steam, you can also do a cyst bath. If you're not familiar with all this, you'll have to Google it and get um, more tips on how to... Uh, um, you know execute this out but these are some good um feminine hygiene that you should practice um i also use dr bronner's and if you're asleep on dr bronner's you are asleep if you're if you don't know about dr bronner's that is like one of the absolute favorites and it's all-time purpose that you can use for all things you'll have to look up down uh, dr bronner's but you can use it for so many things 
cleaning around your house, laundry, bathing, cleansing your face. It's is you can wash dishes with it, wash clothes with it. You can rinse and wipe and brush your teeth with it. You can wash your hair with it. You can um do facials with it. You can rinse and wash your body with it. You can do so many things. You can mop your floor, everything that I'm not even thinking of that you can do with it. I also put it inside of my water. If I'm not doing um water, and you can also use rose water as well. So did you put this in your um recycled dispenser um soap bottles and you put water and then you put a couple of drops of tea tree oil and you can use it as um a refresher every time you use the bathroom when you're at home. So when you urine or you do a bowel movement, you use this um solution on your chocha or your yoni or vagina or whatever you want to call it after bathroom uses and you just um spread or uh um or dispense it all over you um and then you take you a cloth um some old t-shirts that you cut up and that you can keep rewashing and you just uh, squirt this stuff on the solution onto the you want to either use um uh water and tea tree oil drops of tea tree oil or you can use the dr brunner's tea tree soap or the dr brunner's um peppermint soap and you just dilute it with water you don't want it where it's soapy but, but you want it where it's not soapy but it's a little bit of solution going on but it's not leaving a, a soapy residue and then you just rinse yourself off with it it's natural it's biogradable and i'm speaking um in regards to the dr brunner's and you can do this every time in between ba uh, bathroom uses and that's keeping your yoni and everything refreshed so just a little tip and um I think I went over everything with the um, beauty tips of the natural beauty or uh, whatever um, and keeping your skin um, looking useful. And then also you can um, do it up a notch where you can get that um, massage facial tool. And I'll try to put that in here in this video. I haven't got one yet. I am supposed to be getting one, but you can um, it's like a roller and you keep it cold. And as you age, you can use that to enhance your fine lines that grow. But it's basically just going to be your diet, eating healthy and eating right, eating the medicine foods of y'all like the minister of wellness um, says all the time. Eat the medicine foods of y'all juice and juice fast, intermittent fasting. And eating a lot of leafy um, green vegetables and eating a lot of blueberries and your G-bombs, your G-bomb soup, which is your beans, uh, greens, mushrooms, uh, greens, beans, and mushrooms, and berries and seeds. Um, and so when you eat healthy and you exercise and then you implement the most high by praying, reading, meditating on his word all of these um can keep you useful and you can get the results that you see here so um guys i know this was long-winded but i hope it helps you guys out um and uh yeah uh shalom and um i hope y'all enjoyed this video and i hope y'all can take something from it take care